Welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. In the last episode, uh, we got captured by Sky Pirates and bamboozled our way out of that. Now we gotta go do some quest or they're gonna murder us. So, you know, your standard, you know, typical day. Okay, so we have to go find Batu's daughter. Uh, it started with a T, but it's been a day or so since I played, so I can't remember. I'm guessing the Wyvern's Den must be over there, or over that way. Whoa! 360! Fight it! I wonder if we sneak up on it and get it in the back if it'll it give us the surprise attack. Get that boy. Good job, little buddies. You did it. Mm. I'm assuming... Yeah, there, it looks like there's something over this hey. way, maybe? Oh, yeah, there's a little chest over there. Wah, 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 wah. But there's an ambush. Maybe not. What's in the chest? A an angel's tear. Not so sure about that one. Ah! You ready for this? Get wrecked. I don't know why I always try to go grab all those things, because I'm pretty sure it's going to drop them like once we get out of the battle either way, but I don't know. The collector's mentality. So this is a different looking chest. Chest is locked. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? Humble button. Bring it in. Hey, that was a crit. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I actually kind of like playing as the kid more than I like playing as, uh,. Roland. Which is kind of weird, because I thought Roland would be, like, the cool guy to play as. But, oh well. Alright. Come back here, you. Stop lying. Dang! It laser beamed. Roland just dunked on him. Watch back here. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, we should go this way. Move, Roland! So if we go down through this little tunnel, we should be able to make our way across that little river and then head over to the area we need to be at, so... No surprise attack? Why no? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, try it. Me and my boy gon' gon' wreck you. I like the little green dudes. They're cool. They're the hype squad. Found a piece of simple string. Watch your back. So yeah, stuff flies out. I wasn't going to be able to grab all of that stuff that time, so. I feel bad because there's stuff like in these chests and everything in the... Well, I guess I can go around the back way there. I, I feel like it's almost a waste of time though, because it's, it's not like it's going to be great stuff. I mean, it could be, but the realist in me says that it's probably just going to be like a... You know, a healing item or something. Just very simple. I think I got some stuff. Uh, glowing Cutlass. Slightly increases light damage. Interesting. That's not as good as our Warlock's Wand. No, no, no. Well, we got a pendant for Homeboy now. Still don't have a ring for him yet. Circular Sword. Maybe that's what he did earlier. A spinning slash that cuts surrounding fuzz. No, he, he definitely shot a laser beam. Anyway. Oh, we have Flurry now, too. Unleashes a series of stabbing attacks bound to put enemies on the back foot. We need to try that out. I'm just going to say screw it and not go after that, that stuff up there. We're just going to go to the objective. Just to save a little bit of time. I want to use these Higgledies more, but at the same time, I I feel like we'll get to use them when we actually need them later, instead of like these simple battles where I can pretty much finish it like pretty quickly and easily without having to use them. Because I feel like going out of my way to just go activate them and then waiting for them to charge up the attack and then shoot and everything, I feel like it's just going to be almost a waste of time. Whereas we can just, you know, take them all out like that and then not have to worry about it. But I'm assuming once we fight something with a lot more health and like a much higher level and everything, we're probably going to want to use them. Uh, so that way we have, you know, extra damage coming out and this and that, you know. We'll get more use out of them later. Come on. Oh yeah! Wombo combo. A cool blunder buzzer. And it's better. Wow, much better. 26 and 11 up to 50 and 19. Should we? That is much, much better. Hey, and we got a ring. I don't know why. I was just checking that on a whim. I didn't actually think we got one, but maybe we got it when I wasn't paying attention. Who knows? All right. The nest is this way. Oh. Look, this must be the wyvern's den. Let's hurry. All right, so I'm guessing this is going to be an actual dungeon. So let's get to it. 
I hope you're not claustrophobic. They must be keeping Tani somewhere further inside. Oh, this is going to be a journal. Alright, cool. A voice can be heard coming from the Higgledy Stone. Well met, traveler. Show me what you've got. Give me what I like and I will... I will like you quite a lot. Hey, I know. It's talking about that cream, in it? Uh... Single cream? I didn't even know I had this. You try offering up a dollop of single cream. Well done, traveler. This is what I meant. That's the greatest offering that I've ever seen. Oh, he's a little, like, dark one. The Higgledy hidden inside the stone comes flying out. Higgledy befriended. Tove the Tenebrous has decided to join you on your adventure. Huh. So what does he do? Tove the Tenebrous. Tick tock. The number of Higgledy troops will automatically increase in battle. Okay. Wimpy Wimpy. Slightly decreases an enemy's physical attacks for a short period of time. Gravity is t uh, Higgledy Plunge. Gravity is temporarily turned it to up to max, bringing enemies crashing down. Oh, interesting. That's actually pretty cool. Night Smiter. Makes the player more resistant to dark enemies or dark element attacks when awakened. So his uh, Higgledy Plunge is actually going to be super helpful. I'm assuming that's the reason why they give it to you in this dungeon is because, you know, the wyverns will be able to fly up in the air. So that's nice. What, a, what nice developers for putting things where they need to be. All right. Is this the gladiators arena? There's nobody here. Yeah, something's not right. Evan, up there. Oh, they didn't see all these guys. <laughs> Wyvern warlord, broad-winged bringer of br the of b brother from above. Come to rescue Tanny. <laughs> Cree hee hee. The pirate girl. Hmm. You do not seem like sky pirates to me, pink skin. Too small and succulent. Cloud Coil Canyon belongs to we wyverns, yes. You have no business here. Leave this place, 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 leave this place. We're not leaving without Tanny. Attaboy, Evan. If this wasn't our business before, it sure is now. Yes. You will regret your stubbornness. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Where did he go? Come down here. No, he's he's a pro. All right, new skill. All right, sick. That was that would have been cool. Oh, I need to keep I need to use my higgledies. Overkill! Good lord. We did it. Just... Yeah, and the others seem to have scu er, scuffled off too. I suppose we must keep... Uh, they must be keeping Tanny through there. I hope she's okay. We whooped his 
butt. We got a cool tunic, though, I think. Tunic. Nyx proof light tunic. Greatly boosts resistance to nixing, whatever that is. Slightly boosts money dropped. A. Now that's something I can get behind. Money. Uh, let's see. So I can put the choppy old coat on homeboy now. Open up. Surprised that wasn't a loading screen. Tommy. Whiff waff, cut her down, would you? <laughs> That's a sharp toothpick. It's you, the little boy from before. What are you doing here? Little boy? You can't be much older than me. <laughs> all right, all right. Keep your hair on. Evan. My name is Evan. And I'm Roland. Evan and Roland, eh? Well, thanks for coming to the rescue. I didn't have either of you down as the reckless type, but you must be to have come here. Speaking of which, why didn't that grizzled old coward Batu come and get me himself? We made an agreement. In return for securing your freedom, he promised to grant us safe passage to the King's Cradle. Really? He said that? Ha! I knew it! I knew he'd take a shine to you! You've got that same twinkle in your eye! I most certainly do not! You most certainly do too! It's like you can both see something. Something no one else can. He's pissed. He's not gonna get to behead us now. Back safe and sound, boss. <laughs> you went went and got yourself captured, eh, girly? Yeah. Yeah, boss. Sorry, boss. Evan lad, ye were as good as your word, so I shall be as good as mine. Ye may pass freely through the canyon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chief Batu. One step closer to the King's Cradle, huh? So you really are serious about going then? To the Cradle? Yeah. Well, the quickness... Well, the quickest way there is to fly, of course. But what are you going all the way up there for? This one here is all set to hook himself a Kingmaker and become a Lord of the whole wide world, don't you know? Really? King of the whole wide world, you say? Blimey, you have some pretty big ideas for such a pipsqueak. Well, you'll only end up getting lost if you go on your own. Alright, I'm coming with you. I expected that a thousand percent. You are? And what need have you to be traipsing along to your doom with these sorry swabs, girly? Ha, you're the one who's always telling me to do what I want whenever I want. Well, this is what I want to do right now, and I'm going to do it. So there. Hope you don't mind me tagging along, Evan. Not that you've got much choice. Tanny is now a member of your party. I'll be waiting at the takeoff spot down below. Give me a shout when you're ready. Yeah, I expected that. That was pretty, uh... You could see that coming from a mile away. Alright. Well, at least she... Oh, she has spears. That's kind of cool. Alright, we don't have anything else that she can really use just yet. She's got armor, which is kind of cool. Dang, it's the best, <laughs> best stuff we have. Alright, we'll have to get some more stuff for her to get uh, equipment. 
didn't he say they had a merchant or something? But I don't... I don't see a merchant. Will you be staying with us? Yeah, all they have is the... <laughs> Sleep well. Alright, well I didn't mean to do that, but... Okay. Good boy. Second. All right. Here we go. Getting to the king's cradle is a pain, but luckily for you, I'm here to give you a lift. All set? Yeah, let's let's kick it. Right. Let's get going. Have you a moment for old Batu before you take off? I guess. I couldn't very well deny young Tanny back there in front of everyone. But there's not a soul been to that cradle and made it back unscathed. If she comes home with so much as a scratch, I'll have your hide, understand? Uh. Yes, Chief Batu. We'll be very careful. Tani will be safe with us, I promise. Alright, I think we're ready. <laughs> oh, that's such a cool shot. Oh yeah, the cradle's up there. Wow, sure is a lot of stairs. All right. Here we are at last. Come on. I can't tell if that's actually faster or not. All right, we'll go inside. So this is where we're going to, uh, to get our kingmaker, huh? Yes, uh, if we prove ourselves worthy. Cradle of light. What's this? Look at my little goons. Wanderer, seekest thou to prove thyself a king? Talking statues, what's next? I do. My name is Evan Pettywhisker of the House of Tildrum. I have come to make a pact with one of the great guardians. Very well. Then the trials of knowledge and courage await. Uh oh. Leave thy companions behind thee and go forth. The time to prove thy worth is has come, Evan Pettywhisker of the House of Tim Tildrum. Blimey. <laughs> Blimey. Good luck, Evan. You'll be fine. You can do this. You telling me I don't get to bring none of my higgledies? Alright, here we go. Wow. Oh. Where am I? Behold the trial of knowledge. This story, like any other, is possessed of or yep, yeah, is possessed of a beginning, a middle, and an end. Trace the trail of this tale to the past trial. Or go back on thyself and fail. Could that be where the story begins? Trial of knowledge. Approach beginnings and select begin the trial to start. The aim is to follow the story in the correct order from the statue or from statue to statue until you reach the end. If you pass a statue checkpoint in the wrong order, you'll fail the trial and have to start again, so you'll need to read the story carefully and work out which part comes where. Oh lord. You may also come across wheels which turn the statues next to them through ninety degrees. Apparently this may also have an important bearing on how the checkpoint works. If you think you went through the checkpoints in the right order, but you didn't pass the trial, try checking the direction of the statues are facing. Also, you'll notice that the tiles fall away as you walk over them, so you'll need to trace a single path without going back on yourself. If you get stuck, press select. No, that's start to try again. Good lord. This is going to be rough. 
mainly because I'm stupid. Uh, once upon a time, there was a world, or the world was ruled over by an evil dragon possessed of terrible power. A little boy from a little village determined to rid the world of the dragon's misery and bring happiness back to all set out to defeat the beast. At this, at his touch, the magic wand handed down by the people of his village stirred to life, and thus he was granted the power of sorcery. Drawn by the call of the wand, a fairy came to the boy and befriended him. Together, the two of them set out on a great journey to save the world. Bonus orbs. When the trial begins, you'll notice some orbs floating above certain squares. You do not have to collect these, but if you do, you can earn bonuses at the end. Mm. What even is that a statue of? Alright, so it's boy over there on the left, and then wand, boy, magic wand, a fairy. So... Boy, wand, what is that? I don't understand. Does he need, does it need to be facing towards the wand or something? I don't know. We'll try it. Reach the end of the checkpoint. Want to move on to the next? You haven't collected all the bonus orbs. Together, the two of them set out on a great journey to save the world. You have chosen the right path and reached the end of the chapter. Yes! The door is open. Okay. That wasn't... That wasn't terrible. Mm. There's more. Guided by his friend the fairy, the boy roamed the land and gathered together a band of faithful companions. The world was a kind-hearted. Uh, the first was a kind-hearted harpist, whose magical melodies could soothe even the fieriest soul. The second was a brave pistolier, ever ready to help his friends through any hardship they might face on their quest. The third was a wise wizard who took the boy as his apprentice and taught him all he knew of the ways of magic. His party uh, his party of heroes thus assembled, the boy found the courage at last to face the monsters that troubled the world, and so he and his companions set out to battle them when or wherever they might be found. So Harpist Pistolier Wizard Boy Monster. Harp Pistol uh, harp, pistol, something, monster. Harp, pistol, wizard, boy, monster. Harp, pistol, wizard, boy, monster. Uh, this is the harp. Harp. Pistol. Wizard. Uh, boy. Reached the end of the chapter. Okay, was that right? And so he and his companions set out to the battle. You've chosen the right path and reached the end of the chapter. Oh yeah. Hey, another warlock swan. I yes. already have one though, so unless it's better somehow. And I can't open the pause menu right this second, so. Alright. I hope this is the last one, because I I not 
I'm feeling like if it gets any more hectic than it is, I'm going to be screwed. Alright, Wizard Pistolier, Harpist Soldier, alright, I'll read it, fine, you talked me into it. The evil dragon who ruled over the world could not be defeated until the four towers emitting the evil aura that protected him had been destroyed. The first tower looming in front of him, the wizard laid it low with a mighty spell. The second was close by the Pistolier, who carefully took aim and filled it with a single shot. The third was sent toppling when the harpist turned to a soldier and spurred him on with her songs. The fourth tower, which stood in front of the fairy, was flattened when it or when he ran it oh, ran it into it head first as fast as he could. His tower's gone, the dragon was vulnerable at last, and the final beast or battle began in earnest. Uh, as the fight between them raged, the boy spied his chance when the dragon turned to face him and let loose the legendary spell Morinstar. It struck the dragon, who fell down dead, thus the world was saved and all lived happily ever after. Okay. Alright, so the boy is over there. He needs to face the dragon towards the end. Like, they need to face each other, apparently. So, let's get this straight one more time. Alright, we've got... Wizard. Pistolier. Harpist. Soldier. Fairy. Boy. Alright. So, wizard's first. Wizard is right here. Okay. Okay, wizard. That's the fairy over there. Pistolier, he needs to shoot the tower. Okay, and then, yeah, the harp is next. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go straight for it. Oh, uh, I think I messed this up. I did. Because it didn't, yeah, it didn't activate. You have to, you have to hit the switch. That's strange, the route I took looked like the right one, but the statue, but could the statues be facing the wrong way, perhaps? Close it up. He shoots it. See, this is where I'm confused. Oh, that's right. She turned towards the soldier. Uh... But now I'm not going to be able to...
Yeah, but now I see I'm screwed. Uh... Oh. My bad. Don't worry, I'm learning. You guys don't have to yell. Alright. Uh... See, but if I go this way, I'm not going to be able to progress the way I need to go. Unless I needed this square right here, which it seems like I do. Alright, I think what I'm doing is I'm screwing up by going to the, the safe platform first. I think I need to go... Uh... Up, maybe? Oh well, we're just gonna say, screw that item. Whatever. I don't need it. We're just going to get the puzzle done. Question is, do I need this like this? That's him, but like, I... Mm. I think I do, because I think that will activate the boy, which is not what we want to do. Alright, he ran into the thing head first. Alright, and then he faces the dragon. And we're good. That is it. Boom. Nice. Alright, that took a little bit of trial and error. But that's okay. You obtained a sage's secret. Thy knowledge is proven. Is that how I'm supposed to leave, I wonder? Well, yeah. Oh, that looks cool. Where am I? I'm off awfully high up. A trial of courage awaits. Draw thy sword, vanquish the foe before thee. I see that save point. Uh, we're like almost an extra 10 minutes over the 30 minute mark here. So I'm going to save this and we're going to call this an episode. Alrighty. Saved. Good. So yeah. A little bit longer because uh, I'm a little bit uh, thicker in the head than I should be. And I didn't do that in time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series because I'm enjoying playing the game and I'll see you in the next one.